Sports. I'm Brad Nessler, and alongside me are Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The players will have to battle the rain in today's contest between the Purdue Boilermakers and the Oregon Ducks. Hold on to your seats because we've got an incredible matchup coming your way early in this college football season. And here come the Ducks. The Boilermakers have nothing to lose in this game. Kirk, how do you see this thing playing out? Oregon has a big-time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against this defense. I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers. Lee, look for a big blow on here. I gotta go with the favorite in this one. Go Ducks! Quack, quack, quack! This one's almost underway, so we're about to find out real quick just how smart of a pick that was, Coach. Decent kick. Holland takes it at the 8. At the 30. At the 40. Across midfield. At the 40. That return should help the offense out. Yo, this kid is a sensational kick returner. He did a perfect job of reading his blocks on that kick return. Almost perfect. Hey, that's what I said. Almost perfect. Receivers. They go with the option. There's a missed tackle. Now he pitches it. Oh, Brewer brings him down at the 13. This is one of those uh-oh plays for the defense. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. Across the middle, got him again. He's taken down at the two. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. Little handoff. Touchdown, Oregon! A simple handoff to the fullback got it done right there. <laughs> Yo, give it to the big bulldozer and get out of the way. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. On play action. Surveys the field. He's looking for his man. Got it to his receiver. He's tackled at the 35. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone cover. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice ball to get the first down. And the receiver ran. Receiver. There's the play fake. Rolling out to the left side. Catches it. Shakes off the tackle. And down he goes at the 15. These days, you need a running back who can not only run the football, but who has good hands as well. Yeah, and this kid just put his hands on display. That's a clone well, again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. Wants to throw a screen. Touchdown, Oregon! What a perfectly thrown ball by this young quarterback. He's gone through a rapid maturation, and that's elevated the level of play for his teammates. If I was a scout, I'd make sure I'd bring lots of notebook paper to this young man's games. He kicks it off. Bush takes it at the four. Loose football. He's got the loose ball. And so they'll turn the ball over on the fumble. Yeah, the ball carrier just didn't do it. Play action. He throws it. Finds his receiver. Touchdown, Ducks. Well, we had a feeling that this one was on the verge of getting ugly. And with that touchdown, it's not looking good. Yo, someone slow these guys down. If someone doesn't, this one might be over by halftime. Elliott, back to pass. Looking. He flings it. The true freshman has it. The wideout made a good look. Elliott drops back to pass. He sheds it. Elliott with a bullet over the middle. Finds his receiver. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. Ball came free. Number 
38 with a recovery. And he tackles him hard at the 39-yard line. And that is not what they needed. They already needed a couple of scores to get back in this. Now a turnover? What else could go wrong? He drops back. Across the middle. Got it to his receiver. And Herbie, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young... Here's the option. Williams with a takedown at the 25. Nice running on the option there. That was a spectacular option keeper there. And I'm going to tell you why. It looked like that play was going nowhere. It's already started to get out of hand at the end of the first. Our score is Oregon 21, Purdue nothing. Called it in a touchdown. Option left side. And down he goes at the five. They go with the option and pick up the first down. And that was just running back every time down there. Can't wrap him up. Touchdown, Oregon! Another score. Touchdowns have just become a habit for this team. Well, the defense better find a way to break that habit because there's still a lot of football left to be played. Elliott back to throw. Across the middle. Finds the true freshman. Move the chain game because they just got themselves a first down. Yeah, the quarterback and receiver on the same page on that pass. Tackle for a loss. This is a heads-up play by the linebacker. He's playing one and had his eyes on the guy carrying the football from the get-go. Good defensive play. Drops back to pass. Moves up in the pocket. Throws it to the outside. And it's intercepted. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. Oregon brings in their nickel package. Drops back to Penn. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Kick is up. And the field goal is good. Not a bad kick to get your... Back to pass. He's under some heat. He's sacked at the 13-yard line. That's what happens when the protection breaks down up front. Yeah, but coach, I think the quarterback has to release the ball quicker. Or he's going to get pounded out there. Nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good... The kick is away. It's long enough. And the wind's going to push that one just enough. He missed it. Folks, let's pause now as we reach the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Oregon 28, Purdue 3. They'll run the option. Miss tackle. And down he goes at the 38. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. Quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just five. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. He's right there for the interception. Kirk, any thoughts on why they've had such an off day? Oh, it's been all about making mental mistakes out there, and that interception was another perfect example. Five wide set. Here's an option, right side. And now he pitches it. Gets past the tackler. And down he goes at the 36. And they get enough for the first. What's interesting about that short run? Lining up with three receivers. Looking to throw. He unloads it. Got it to him on the run. The defense was coming with heat on that play. 
Yep, and the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignments. That gave the quarterback enough. Receiver. Rolls to the right. Down the middle. He catches another. And guys, you can just feel the momentum building with this drive. That's their third first down on this drive alone, Coach. Yep. You all know how important momentum is in college. Get it in for the touchdown. Blunt will run it again. Touchdown. The defense hasn't had much luck keeping this kid out of the end zone today. He's a good back, Brad. That's why he's playing Division I football. And he's had this kind of success against almost everyone he's played against. Drops back to pass. Here they come. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Number nine, they got to him again. We've seen it all today from the defense. Blitzing, covered sacks, blown assignments. This unit has been embarrassed by the defense here tonight. Receivers in the formation. Looking to throw. Let's it fly. That is ball. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. They'll give it off here. Hasinger tackles him at the 28 yard line. Not much going on that drive. Nothing at all. You gotta give the defense credit. They really stepped it up. Heading to the fourth quarter, this one is well in hand. With the score, Oregon 35, Purdue 3. Looks to pass. Steps up, looks. He passes it. And he's tackled at midfield. Solid game the line with three wide. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. The defense lends them a hand with that penalty. Gosh, giving up penalty yards is so frustrating, isn't it? They'll throw on first down. He's looking. He lets it fly. And he pulls it down. Stucky brings him down at the 37. Good pickup by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves to play. He wants a ball every time they throw it up. The receivers lined up here. Option right. Broke away from one. Jackson tackles him at the 47-yard line. Receivers, option. Made at the 38. This is so difficult to defend. This is a perfect illustration of how to run the option, and it was perfect enough to get the first right there. Little handoff. Got some open field. Rowe with the tackle at the 27. Bush looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. across the middle it's intercepted what is going on here guys we've just been outplayed and outcoached out there tonight. anything and everything is going on today kirk there's not much else you can do except pack it up and try again next week This one's in the books, folks. Kirk, any final thoughts here? Well, it looks like we called this one right. Purdue came out as severe underdogs, and they were absolutely demolished by a much stronger, faster, and experienced football team. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, Oregon 35, Purdue 3. With the coach, Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreit, and all the EA Sports team, I'm Brad Nessler signing off.